after Advent and Christmas and the feasts of the Holy Family, Mary, the Mother of God, the Epiphany, and the Baptism of the Lord, it's now back to ordinary time. The Church does love to celebrate seasons and feasts, but like all of us, it also likes the ordinary, the routine, and that's the season that we're now entering that will take us to Lent. Hello, I'm Father James Kabicki, and I think ordinary time gets a bad rap. I think when most people hear the word ordinary, they think of it as the opposite of special or extraordinary. And so there's a tendency to think of drudgery, the same old, same old. But that's not the church's sense of ordinary time, or any time for that matter. All time is a precious gift given to us by God for our good and for His praise and glory. There's nothing ordinary about that in the sense of somehow something less than special. I think the ordinary time or numbered Sundays and weeks in the church's calendar, that's a good reminder, a good time for us to reflect on how special our life actually is. It may feel very ordinary and we may think of ourselves as not very special, but that's not the way God sees it. Because of our baptisms, we are truly beloved children of God, special to God our Father, and every moment of our lives is important. That's where the daily offering that we promote in the Apostleship of Prayer comes in. It's a daily, first thing in the morning reminder to us that every moment of our lives has eternal significance. We can take every breathing moment, every prayer, work, joy, suffering, and yes, even every sleeping moment, and declare it to be an act of love for God. We can unite it to Jesus' perfect offering of himself on the cross that is renewed in every Mass. And in that way, None of our time will be ordinary.